What's good, people? See, we back another week, another episode of Rights to the Podcast, where we write to say and do what we want to say and do. Um, shit, we appreciate y'all for being back with us, man. I, every week I get on here, I be like, damn, man, like, we still at it. And I know we still kind of early in the game, but I'm still proud of us for, for being consistent so far. You know, um, you got to celebrate your small wins just like your big ones. I think that's a, a major part of life. Um, I want everybody, like everybody in the world, anybody under my voice right now, like start celebrating your small wins. But we'll talk about that later, but definitely start celebrating your small wins, man. Tino in the building with me. Um, I'm your host, Ace. Again, this is your first time tuning in. I'm Ace. Got my co-host, Tino, here, my right-hand man, my partner. Um, you know, he tuning in every week, man. He he'll, he show up just like me every week. Every week. I'm in this bitch. Hey, man, for real, man. A lot of y'all fucking with Tino, though, man. Like, a lot of feedback I get, everybody be like, that nigga Tino is crazy. Like, the way he think, the way he be saying certain shit, like, this nigga is crazy. Um, But, as always, we're going to get it started with our sponsors, man. We want to shout out Bud Sprout, of course. If you're thinking about doing a podcast, if you're thinking about getting a podcast started, putting out audio that you already got recorded, you got topics you want to cover. You just want to talk with your homies. Whatever you want to do podcasting-wise, um, definitely tap in with Buzzsprout. Make you an account. And Buzzsprout will make sure you get all your podcasting needs met. Get your podcast out on every major platform, just like right to the podcast. And all that other shit going to handle itself um, as far as dealing with uh, Buzzsprout. As far as YouTube and all that good stuff, they'll make sure you get all that too, man. Um, also, we want to shout out Lightning Wonder Cleaning, man, as always, our homegrown. You got the sign today for him? Yeah, I got the hey, sign. Hey, hold on, hey. man. We got to hold the sign up, man. Uh, Lightning Wonder Cleaning, man. Yeah. Free estimates in the Birmingham, Hoover, yeah. Vestavia area, man. Hit Lightning Wonder Cleaning at 205-427-0303. Yeah, um, Lightning Wonder Cleaning, man. Reach out. Again, that's Tino Business. Um, so definitely, man, want to support that, man. That's family. That's us. That's homegrown. That's in-house. Whatever you want to call it, definitely, man. We want to shout out like new window cleaning to get your residential and commercial businesses um, looking like new. So with that being said, now we got that out of the way. We got to do what we do best. That's have a conversation about some righteous, righteous topics. Some righteous thoughts, some righteous opinions. You know, we got the vibes going in here for sure. Nah, for real. I'm talking about we got the vibes going for sure, man. So, Tino, as you always know, bro, I'm, I'm always rambling in my mind, bro. And I always got some shit to talk to you about. You know, every time we we link, whatever it may be, bro, we always got some shit to say. Um, So, I was sitting up the other day, bro, and I started to text you, matter of fact, but I didn't. Because some shit, bro, it'd be like, now I'm just talk to this thing when I Wait see till him. Wait, I seen him. Yeah, cause some conversation be better in person. I feel like everybody know that. Yeah. Unless it's some weird, bro. Like give a nigga a heads up if you on some weird type of time, bro. Uh, but for sure, I was thinking about something and I say, oh, hey, you know how like, you know how women got like a cold, bro. And and I ain't gonna stay on this long. This is just something I was thinking about. But uh, like how women got a cold. Like say for instance, you try to talk to a chick, right? And she don't want you, like she rejects you or whatever, right? So when she rejects you, say for instance, you say, Well, well she a homegirl cute too, so I'm finna try to shoot at a homegirl. So you shoot at a homegirl, right? Well homegirl say, Nah, I can't talk to you because you try to talk to my homegirl. Now you ain't had no relationship with her. You ain't you ain't had no sex, you ain't went on no date, and all you did was try to shoot your shot and it didn't work out. But you get blackballed from the friend because you she's like, nah, you tried to talk to my hunger. So my question is, why men men don't have a code like that? Like, and if we do, if you feel like we do, what how, how is it different? I don't feel like we operate like that. But women be like dead ass serious about that. Yeah, that shit had me a few times. You see a few shit, several times. Yeah. Try to talk to the one and then that would get her. And she, hey, she, what about your friend? What they say? Oh, you just try to talk to me. Or oh, just try to talk to the friend. She, oh, you just try to talk to my other friend. Yeah. 
So at one end, I think they be on some, oh shit, I guess I wasn't good enough for you. I'm your sick option. You like, try to talk to my friend at first, and then on the other end, I don't know, bro. They probably didn't want to talk to a nigga to begin with. Yo, they we got to get some you. females to tap in about that, because I always wanted to know how was it just universal female code to say, like, if you tried to talk to my friend, if you looked at my friend too long, if whatever, you like too many of her pictures, I can't talk to you. You know, like, I just wanted to know how that worked, man, because I don't feel like guys have a code like that, man. So, like, you feel like dudes got a code like that? You feel like... I yeah. hate that nigga, dude. Oh, God damn. See, that's how I do it. I ain't mad that nigga, dude. Okay, okay. So... What you feel like the guy code is? I don't know. I don't feel like we got one because I don't feel like we care that much. We don't, but some niggas care that much. Like we said on the previous episode, I feel like with us, it'd be like if you my close partner, you just you just can't go knock off like my baby mama, like or nothing like that. Like at least at least like say something. You know what I'm saying? But like as far nigga as nigga saying no, nah, fuck that, you my close partner. You ain't saying shit, my baby. By my baby mom. <laughs> so I'm just saying, man, like at least like if you if you know like we close partners, then like, yeah. Like you can say at least say, hey bro, like me and your baby mom been talking, I'm gonna just keep it keep it real with you. And you know, it's turning into something or whatever it may be. You ain't got to tell me exactly what's going on, but if you my real partner now, like we said this on another episode, but like as far as dudes and like Oh, she tried to talk to my homeboy, and now she tried to talk to me, but I can't talk to her because she tried to talk to him. We don't rock like that. Like, dudes don't rock like that. Nah. Nah, nigga might have a goddamn... That is not say you baby mama, but a man. That y'all been on and off with. But your yeah. partner know, like... You feel me? I know who yo, you feel me? I know who got down. My partner's... So, them... You feel me? I won't even much try to talk to them. Now that's a bitch who just fucking. That's yeah. different. And got down with me. I, I tell the nigga, shit, try to talk to him. Shit, yeah, you want to talk? Yeah. Just see what she on. You feel me? Like, I see. I see what you're saying, man. I just, I just really always wanted to know, like, cause that's always been mind blowing to me. Like ever since I was young, bro. Like chicks be on shit like that. Like, oh no, he tried to talk to my friend. Like, nah, like, but we ain't work out. Like, what if I? What if I met you to meet her? See, sometimes that has worked too. I done talked to cousins before and they knew about her. Yeah. But then I done talked to her cousin and then tried to talk to her cousin. She like, oh, you talked to my cousin 10 years ago. The fuck? I didn't even know you 10 years ago. You didn't know I talked to her 10 years ago. This shit just so happened you seen the Facebook post from, from 10 years ago on my shit. Oh, that shit like a, that shit like a, a honor code that's like, I don't know, and they be for real, bro. Yeah, they be serious about that shit for some fucking. But I'm saying that's probably just a bitch that didn't want to talk to you anyway. A bitch that want to bro. talk you to you, she gonna head. find, she gonna find a fucking way. That bitch ain't too busy. She, she just too busy to fuck with you. Oh yeah, oh oh yeah, yeah yeah. You right? Cause I've been a lot of the inner circles. What you mean? Elaborate. Like how niggas be trying to talk to bitches and they hit them with them. Oh, I'm finna go out of town. I'm gonna be doing this. I'm gonna be busy that day. I'm gonna be. I don't really be like that. But you wanna fuck with you. So you saying people yeah. make time for what they wanna make time for? Yeah, of course. Can I be the nigga that should be telling the shit too? <laughs> okay, I was gonna ask what your reference was. Bruh, but I got you. I be the nigga that be having the inside ill. Yeah, so you like, oh, this nigga got down. Want to take me out? Of this nigga want to whoop the whoop, but she probably still just telling me the niggas that she said no to. I'm pretty sure so she not telling me the niggas. She's like, yo, I would go do no this thing. <laughs> yeah, you ain't just no adult. You not just going. I see what you're saying. But I yeah, it saying. is. She, I'm like, oh no, nah, you're not that busy because you come over here whenever I say so. You just keep hitting this nigga with all these excuses. That's just a nigga you don't want to fuck with, for real. Right. Which I I understand it. That makes sense. I don't know. That's that's crazy though, bro. I ain't nobody too busy. Say, say it again. again. Say it again, bro. I ain't nobody too goddamn. I'm fucking busy, but shit. At night, I still got my little time. You feel? I can't do. I can't clean windows at night. Or, I can do other shit, but eh, no one did like no window cleaning. But. 
ain't nobody too busy. Yeah. You make time for what you want to make time for a moral of the story. But again, back to the original question, I feel like women, all women who listening to this man, if y'all ain't gonna do nothing else, y'all gonna be loyal to that friend code of you try to talk to my friend, you try to whatever, whatever with my friend, and I can't you I'm now I'm off limits or now my friend off limits because of you doing this. So I don't know, man. Shout out to y'all, man, because I don't that shit crazy. Yeah, I guess they be trying to keep it too real. I don't know, bro. That, yeah. That's mind boggling. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you if you're a woman and you feel like you got an answer for this, tap in with us, man. Tap in with us on Instagram, right to the podcast, all one word. Tap in with us in the comments on YouTube. Um, now we doing YouTube videos, so please go like and subscribe us on YouTube. Righteously colon the podcast on YouTube. Tap in with us for show. Sure. Um, and let us know how you feel about this. Let us know what you think. And if you and your friends like this, tell us why. Or if y'all not like this shit, tell us why not. Cause I know it's some women out there that shit don't matter. Yeah, I, I don't give a fuck. Both of them with a. <laughs> she like shit. I ain't want the nigga, so shit. Have fun. Or someone might set you up and be like, "Hey, girl, this nigga, this, that, and the third. I don't want him, but hell, you might be able to use him. You feel me? Like yeah. you get put in the group chat. That work. Hey, that work too. Yeah, it might make the group chat. You make the group chat. Oh, no, ain't, no, ain't nothing wrong with this nigga. I just can't talk to him. Yeah, so so somebody got to goddamn talk to him. If one of y'all want him shit, here y'all go, goddamn. You feel me? And when she in the group chat, he he like a goddamn slave on the auction block. See, if you want him, you want him. Nah, I don't want him. My mother gonna make sure you say something about some slave. <laughs> <laughs> Off camera, I'm gonna tell you why, bro. Um, but yeah, shit. Who hey, you sponsored yeah. by? <laughs> this nigga sponsored by the CJ Matter Walker in here. But sponsored by the man in this. <laughs> like, here it took me and, 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 and ink out this mm -hmm. Incorporated. Nah, hell no. Nah, yeah, make deep, sure you got them and include slavery. It way deeper than that, but it's <laughs> not. Nah, crazy. I already know, but it, yeah. that's it, funny as it is. Hell yeah, but for sure, bro. Like, when she made that group chat, yes, you up for goddamn options. That's just what it is, bro. How many group chats you think you been in for? At least, least twenty. Ooh, that nigga said twenty for what? Though, why you think you made the group chat? Cause they were just like, man, Tino, he's just a charming cousin. <laughs> I mean, he listens to my needs. He charismatic. Yeah. God, this nigga. He has right. perseverance. <laughs> what he got? What? <laughs> He got already get persevering. <laughs> this nigga that crazy, bro. Man, he just fights for everything that he. Yeah. yeah probably. He, he's too. He's too attached. He's too emotional. He, <laughs> he wants to hear about my day. He, yeah, yeah. He the perfect, perfect gentleman. He wants to rub my feet. So you feel like you in the group chat for positive, for good reasons? Hell nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's the real reason you feel like you in the group chat? Nah, they gonna say I'm a cool dude. That's just gonna be like. He a hoe. <laughs> and that's some shit he say every episode. <laughs> but I, this nigga, they my dog, bro. This, this nigga crazy, bro. But I feel him, though. That's it. They, they ain't gonna put you in no, no, no lying shit. Like, you too cool to be doing all that lying shit, bro. Hey, some of you can do chat for some crazy reasons, man. Like, again, I can be it. Oh, shit, ahead. what you been saying? Nah, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say, bitch, like, ain't even gotta block me. Like, you don't want to talk to me. That's all you got to tell me. Yeah. You'll never hear from me no more. When that nigga say he might see eight ears out there, bitch, you'll never hear from me no more. That nigga, that is crazy. I'll make sure I don't get on nobody nerve. Yeah. That's a good thing, though. You don't never go out sad, basically. Uh, it's always better to hit on. I ain't heard from you in a minute, nigga. I, damn, this nigga. <laughs> yeah, bitch, I'm going to make you wait. Yeah. You might be sick month before I hit your ass up. Then be like, shit, oh, what up? How you doing? You straight? Yo. You feel me? How you little boy? Don't be no press. Oh, shit. All right, some fuck with you. I was just making sure you straight. Yeah, I was just checking on you. Yeah. I will do that, too. I do be caring about folks. You feel me? Especially with a little... And they got them a little kid or something. Yeah, how you kids doing? Yeah, at least check on the kids, bro. You ain't no cold nigga like that. Yeah. I'm, I feel what you're saying. I follow you, though. That, that's just because you're a good dude, though. You're a good person. 
But yeah, we don't have to talk no more. I don't give a fuck about this. <laughs> oh yeah, there ain't never no pressure on that. I, I damn so be on that for sure. Cause she came in this bitch by yourself, she you gon' you know what I'm saying? So hey, that's just that on that, bro, for sure. But that was just some shit I wanted to touch on, man, and really see how you felt about that, bro. You know I always gotta get your opinion on shit, bro, cause I know you have a different side of the spectrum than, than, than me sometimes. And I, I fuck with that, bro. Like, everything we talk about, I be like, I don't even know what this nigga. I don't know how you feel about it. But this dude, he's so complex. It's, it's crazy, fool. But anyway, um, some other shit that we were talking about the other day, um, and I thought about it, I say, damn, why nigga be low-key, like, closet-loving, like, big women? That closet loving. <laughs> yeah. When I say closet loving, you know what I mean when I say that though. A nigga like in public, I ain't gonna say in public, but publicly, be like, nah, I ain't fucking with no big girls. I don't wanna fuck with no big girls. None of that shit. But if you go ask the women they talk about, they receipts be different. They be like, oh nah, he be he be hitting me up, or he be trying to. Why you feel like niggas be niggas be ashamed to love some dudes? I ain't gonna say everybody. Some dudes be ashamed to like love big women like openly and publicly. I guess that shit just ain't you feel me. What's cool right now? But see, even if in the public eye. But see, even at that though, I'm saying like, what you think? How you think these niggas feel like in their mind like? Cause at the end of the day, like the real you like this shit. You know, like some Helga Patek and hate Arnold shit. You feel me? Like when Helga come out the house, she on Arnold ass. You feel me? Like everything he do, she on nigga head. But when she go back to the crib, when can't nobody see her, when when you know when when the coast is clear, nigga, she got a whole shrine on Arnold. You know what I'm talking about? She really love Arnold. Yeah, so, nigga, he ain't made him butter in there. You see what I'm saying, bro? So I feel like niggas be like that, or dudes, some dudes be like that when it comes to bigger women. And and, and I ain't talking about, I ain't talking about no sloppy, slouchy, just nasty bitch, just ugh, like damn, like, like I'm not talking about yeah, that kind of shit. I'm talking about a woman who is just a real queen size woman who, you know what I'm saying, keep herself up. She pretty, she, you know, whatever, whatever. She just you know what I mean? BBW, as they call it. You know what I'm saying? And niggas be like, nah, I ain't fucking with that. But really, internally, niggas be fucking with it. I mean, I can't answer that. Yeah. Because that's not me. I see what you're saying, though. But, I don't know. That was some shit I, I was just like, bro. I feel like it's, I feel like it be like a insecurity, like a, like a outward insecurity. Like, niggas be like, am I on? Well, I know this shit because niggas gonna feel some kind of way about me or judge me. That one thing. They're like, that shit ain't the cool shit that you feel me. It's yeah. like, your nigga play oh old boy, you like big bitches. I mean, which in reality, shit don't matter. Now, I ain't gonna lie, health wise, it do for real, cause just speaking or just seeing the shit, yeah. you don't see too many 80 year old, 90 year old big mama. Yeah, I see what you're saying. They gonna be feeling skinny. They ain't gonna be too many 300 plus pounds. I'm not saying that's a very big one, but it's yeah. not shit. Unless you just a big nigga type shit. Ain't too many <laughs> got down 200 pound 80, 80 year old women. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Though. So you're saying like some dudes might not like it because they might feel like shit, I ain't gonna have my partner long if you know, she might have health issues from being yeah, around. But he might like it. He might like that big shit. You feel him? He yeah. need him something to grab on to, hold on to. Yeah. But he just don't want to say that shit. You feel him in front of everybody because that shit ain't the cool shit. Just like nigga who probably do drugs. Yeah. You probably going to snout him a line in private so y'all nigga don't judge me because I like to do power. Yeah. But out loud, I'm be like, hell no, yo. I don't that bitch, we ideal for the snot meal, man. Yeah. Hey, it's funny you brought up drugs, though, bro. I, I was going to say something about that, though. Um, The thing is, bro, some crazy shit here. I don't feel like there's no such thing as, like... And again, I ain't advocating for nobody to go do no crazy shit with no drugs. But I don't feel like it's a such thing as, like, 
bad drugs. I feel like it's just like the wrong drugs for like certain people. Oh yeah. Yeah. And and I say that too, cause I was watching this little comedy show, bro, and the dude had had touched on that, but I was like, shit, bro, that's that's crazy. Like some real shit. Basically, if you think about it, some drugs make people their best self. Alright, so who you think got down on uh, milk for? <laughs> I don't you said, know. <laughs> you said there ain't no bad drugs. But that's because I don't know the effects. And like, I don't really know what meth do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Have you seen some people who do meth? I mean, I have, but shit. Like, do you think them the right people for the wrong people? <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know, bro. I feel like, but but now we talking about like how much they do. If they do the shit in moderation, it you, might help them. You can just do a little meth and be straight. Right. It's some people who do just a little powder and they good. You know what I'm saying? Just a little hair on. Yeah. And that shit, they they call functional junkies. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit of, a little bit of that. Thing. Just Spend enough. All. Just enough. Get you straight. Just enough. I feel like some drugs can just be for the forgotten. And you know, it's just certain people. You need to find out what your drug is if you choose to do drugs and then just do that. So you, so you got to try a whole bunch of different drugs to see what your drug is. No, I think it should be like a blood test or like something that you could go through to have, like, figure out what your, your shit is. You know hey, what I'm bro, saying? Your shit hair run. Your shit came back to <laughs> A B positive, so your shit's a, it's a, it's a yeah. ass. They figure out everything <laughs> else, shit. I'm just saying, bro. It's the same way they figure out what kind of legal prescription you need. They do a goddamn test and they figure out, okay, we need to prescribe you this. So they should do the same shit for drugs. I feel like at least that's a way you can kind of at least regulate the shit. And you wouldn't have so many OD cases, you just give a nigga enough of what he goddamn do. If that was the case, it would be the same with pills. People want to OD off pills. That's what I'm saying. But, I mean, it's always going to be a black market. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Man, you folks get too many of them pills. That shit over. You they prescribe to you. Yeah. You take too many motherfucking Tylenol, the bitch might kill you, goddamn. Yeah. Your Fuck blood will be thin and fucking water. You saying? So, yeah, I see what you're saying, though. Yeah. I don't know. That's just some shit I, that be on my mind, though. I was just like, damn. That, that kind of worked the same way. You know what I mean? Like, you just figure out what people want or figure out what people need and you just give them that. In moderation, at least you can regulate it because the shit all about regulation and pop, not population, but it's all about regulating the people is what I was trying to say. Especially the junkie shit, they make up goddamn a lot of the black market. So, you feel me? I you think where it'll be for one no drug? Everybody just so about the one no alcohol and nothing. It'll be chaos, bro. They can do nothing to get they. It'll be chaos. But nah, you know what? I take that back. You again, like you said, when we were talking about daddies of the nineties, you can't miss what you ain't never had. So if we ain't never know what drugs was or people ain't never experienced drugs, then if all you know is being sober, then shit, people just gonna be cool as fuck. We just gonna be sober. And I feel like shit would be different. Like, I feel like we would be more advanced. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud of so. Uh, well, nigga. actually, actually, let me change that. I feel like we would be less advanced. Because I feel like the people who advance us are on drugs. Of some kind, bro. Volume, something. Motherfucker on something. Yeah, but they don't, 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 don't. All them people out there doing tech and all that shit, man, them folks, them folks say I'd be on that shit. Adderall. Son. Them folks be on that shit, bro. They be on some shit that only rich people can get. We don't even know what they be on, dog. Like, because that shit open up a certain part of your brain, dog, that you probably ain't never thought to open up the shit they think about, bro. Them niggas be thinking about some shit. That like, that Star Wars, saying. all them movies and shit. You Somebody might, had a right to think of that off the wall ass shit. Stimulate they brain, dog. Like goddamn motherfucking super like superpowers and superheroes and other earths and what niggas can do on this whole shit. That's what I'm saying, bro. The animation and the anime. anime. All that shit, bro. Like somebody was tripping the fuck out and made that shit. Especially on shrooms and shit. Man, them folk be out there, they got enough money to do good drugs, dog. 
Like, shout out, shout out Freshy, bro. That nigga Freshy used to say that back in the day, man. Mm -hmm. My dog Freshy. That nigga said, I always say it, bro. Drugs make some people better, bro. <laughs> and I ain't never understood that shit till I, I look around now and I see some people and you be like, damn, dog. That album was hard. That painting hard. That whatever hard nigga be high as hell, bro. <laughs> Like, like, most of the it. creative people I know get high as hell. So, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That's what I'm just saying. Like, I feel like shit, drugs make some people their best self, man. Like, and I feel like there is a drug for certain people. You just need to find what your drug is. And Might that don't include weed. Let me say this. That don't include weed. Marijuana is not a drug. Marijuana's a uh, medical herb that's been here for centuries and centuries and centuries. Yeah, and I guess it is too. Drugs come from plants. Right. That I grow naturally. Yeah. So it, all drugs come from plants. That's what they use to sit from. So we're going to get a drug use up here and we're going to go from there with that topic. <laughs> we're going we gonna to go from there with Poppy that Poppy seeds come from the herb. God True. put this in here for me and you. Man, don't start fucking with them poppy seeds, bro. That's the that's the base of goddamn all opioids. In case you don't know what them poppy seeds are. Um, it's natural though. Yeah. Off camera, I'm gonna tell you why them poppy seeds so important to America, bro. We ain't gonna get into that yet, but yeah. Those who know know. But yeah, man, that shit that shit wild, bro. I feel like when I heard bro say that, that shit made me think I was just like, damn. That's why some crackheads just be naturally good at some shit. We ain't gonna talk about it. Anyway. <laughs> For sure, bro. I don't know, bro. Once again, gotta get a jail pill. Yeah, we're gonna get a jail pill, bro. We ain't gonna talk about that shit, though. But Tino, man, what been going on, bro? Tell me some. Tell me some good, man. Tell me some interesting, man. What's going on, man? You know, I've been thinking about what's going on. Tell me what's up. I've been thinking about how many goddamn ways of feel grades I can be doing. What, nigga? Like, how many got that, like, small children you think you can got that, I'll take? I don't want to listen. <laughs> this nigga act crazy, bro. Now I been thinking about it. I'm like, see, what was just little waves you see? It was about 10 of them at a time. The five year old. How many things, how many things you can do, though? The tap into our previous conversation, this nigga might be on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he tripping. He on some other shit, bro. No, that was the sound you be thinking about. Yeah. Just I didn't even know the specific little kid. Yeah. I'm just talking about little kids in general. I don't know, bro. I ain't never. I don't know. I don't know. Huh? I, might, a, I might get by way 20. That's an odd one. He said, I want to answer that. Yeah, that shit odd. I don't kid. know. <laughs> I don't know. That shit, that shit kind of odd. I don't know about that one. Nah, that's it. I've been just thinking about. Yeah. Off on all the wild shit. He say shit. He just on some random shit. So. Oh yeah, that's some random off the wall. Just a question that I was just thinking. Shit, of. I got some off the wall shit for you though. Well, it ain't off the wall, but it's it, it's different from what we normally just talk about. But I feel like it need to be touched on. Who um you a music type of nigga? You listen to a lot of different tunes and shit. Uh, who you feel like some old school? And when I say old school, I ain't talking about. You ain't gotta go like. Super old. Yeah, you gotta go super old, but who you Frank feel like <laughs> that nigga? <laughs> I don't know. That that shit ain't quite old school just cause they rel relevant. But who you feel like some some old school artists that like our generation be sleep on? Who got like hits and you be like, but niggas ain't on this. This shit hard. But you saying that old school that our generation. Yeah, our old school artists that our generation sleep on. I probably say you see Pastor Troy. Damn, you consider Pastor Troy old school? Yeah, yeah. I mean, what you you said our generation? We 20, 20, 20, 27, 28. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. You okay? You talking about okay? Cause yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. what's you? No, you right, you right, you right, you right, you right. Cause now I think about like my little sister age and shit. They 19, 20 years old, so that's a whole nother. Okay, so yeah, I feel like they not sleep on. No, I feel like they all sleep on like the Pastor Troy's and shit. So you're yeah. right, you're right, you're right. So I mean, Pastor Troy. Well, let me say this then. I'm not to cut you off. I'm gonna say this because I did say that I feel like our generation sleep on 20, 25 to thirty. You feel me? Oh, okay, okay. But but I'm gonna just say 
younger generation from our siblings to us on back or on up, I guess, who you feel like some old school artists that they sleep on? The younger generation, us, I guess, from goddamn 18 to 30, we're going to say. Rocco. Ooh, I don't think, I don't, damn, but. I say I don't man. think Rock just slept on. He slept on him, bro. If you don't hear Rocco. Nah, you know what, bro? You don't hear Rocco. You right, though. What's the odds? Yeah, they, you know what I'm saying? She got a whole bunch of yeah, them here. M's, you know what I mean? Yeah, you right, you right, you right, you right. Rocco, tomorrow, uh, yeah, Rock Man. got hits. The only thing they hits. know is you don't even know it. They, they probably just stop right there. And that was commercial rock. You, you got to go me. back to rock, rock. And uh, going steady, people know going yeah, steady. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But other than going steady, ain't nobody really, they don't nobody know nothing else. Yeah, it's that too. Um, who else I say niggas sleeping on? Got down. What motor boy nine? Well, I was just thinking about the nigga. Shot it low. Folks sleep on him. They know it. They know about him. Yeah. They know about him. They don't know his songs and shit, though. Yeah. So niggas L-O. sleep on L.O. Yeah. See, we gotta get into some other genres, too, now. We can't just do rappers. Who you feel like they sleep on, for sure? I got a little line up too. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say one of mine, and I'm. It's a whole nother genre. I feel like a lot of people slept on Mark Morrison, bro. Like, and I you looking like? I'm about to say I thought the nigga only had one song. Everybody only think Mark Morrison hit is Return of the Mac, bro. I, 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 I yeah, I'm sleeping on. So let me let me let me turn you on to some game. Man. I hope you pick up what I'm finna put it down. So listen. Nigga, Mark Morrison got hits, bro. It is Return of the Mac. That's the most, in case you don't know who Mark Morrison is, he, he's saying Return of the Mac. Y'all know the song. But you got to go check out Moan and Grown. Moan and Grown a hit. Goddamn Horny. That bitch a hit. Uh, oh, this nigga with the nasty song. <laughs> nah. Oh, I'm, just, I'm just naming some of his hits. He got another hit uh, called Crazy. Crazy a hit. Mark Morrison was slept on, bro, for but, sure. Well, see, that's we it. Saying, one person. Yeah, we be saying they hits, but are they really hits if people don't know about them? I mean, yeah, they hits, but this bitch can't be no hit without um, 2.9 thousand views. That's still a hit, bro. It's just shit. It might not have been marketed right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They hits, but still, yeah, this bitch is. Leave YouTube or leave whatever off the face of the earth. Yeah. 2.9 thousand views. Can we just say that's a hit? Maybe it people on, weren't fucking with it. It depend on the artist, though. It depend on the artist, too. Because, listen, in Mark Morrison's defense, bro had a lot of prison time, a lot of bullshit going on. You feel me? So, he he, he, was, he was he had it back on the wall a lot of his career. But, them songs still, like, go, bro. Like, you drop them hoes in a party or... You with your lady just riding, whatever, bro. Mark Morrison is one of the most slept on artists of the 90s. And that I feel like our generation sleep on with exception or return of the man. But who else? Give me some more, folks. Give me some more. Come on. All right, let me go out of He said not rapper. Yeah, just mix it up. Let's see, man. I I mean, if you want to go out route, let me know. Nah, I'm going to always throw in that Kilo Ali. The nigga, though. Well, niggas don't know about that Kilo. I agree. Bro. Kilo, Kilo was fire. That ball fuck was hard. Uh, outside of love in your mouth. I know everybody know love in your mouth. Yeah, they know that. Nasty down. And nasty dancer. Nasty dancer. Dancing for money. Yo. Yo, for sure. I don't know who else. Um, let me see. Um, who's somebody else on my list I felt like was super slept on that some that had hits. Uh... Hmm. I say niggas like, oh, what you gonna say? Nah, go ahead, and then I'm gonna say mine right after you. Go ahead. Now, this is a part of Shot a little bit, like, D4 in? Yeah, them boy had hits. They had got down a lot of different songs, got down. Yeah. Like, there's songs that ride around, listen to type shit, and they ain't much on them. And I'm not saying you see them, they just hits, but I'm just going off of 
that they slip on, like this is shit that you ride, they ride around, listen to. That you feel like niggas ain't really like, just like tuned in for sure. Yeah, like, like, they should have had way more plays and way more notoriety than they got. Type shit that laugh and tap and bitch can't do it like me. Yo, hey shit, if I ain't mistaken, D4L had, uh, what that was, check my foot or was that D4L? See it. I don't know that deep old L motherfucking uh, franchise. I'm gonna have to check that because that was that was a hey that shit was gone. You ain't check got me. Yeah, you ain't got that was that shit was a hit. See, I don't see. I don't see that Fable. was a hit in that shit. You know, Fabo, he was a goddamn he was a goddamn hook man. I don't think nah, that might have been a franchise boy. Oh, maybe I don't know. Nigga probably hey. listening to her like, oh, this fuck nigga wrong. <laughs> Yeah, tap in. Doc, with listen to whole like, oh, hey, look, Doc know exactly who it is. Hey, uh, Doc got down know every ATL fact, you know, hey, tell her who it is. <laughs> Doc, hit us up. Yo, anybody. man, shout out my nigga Doc, man. Anybody with factual information on that, man, hit us up. Let us know. Uh, check my footwork, who that was. Um, I don't know. I might check it after this, but. What you been to say? Who you say slept on? That, like, super slept on that niggas don't understand, like, for sure. So, Look, he's saying like, he's looking like, what? Juvenile, bro. I feel like niggas sleep on Juvie, bro. Juvie was the hardest hot boy. Juvie was the hardest hot boy. I'll say this shit one more time. Juvie <laughs> was the hardest hot boy, lyrically. Yeah. How you feel? Now he got quiet, shit. How you feel? Oh, I you, that's you, hard. You. That's hard, though. Juvie was the hardest hot boy. hard, now. And they were definitely hard. Oh, that 400 degree album. But Juvie slept on, like, I don't feel like this generation appreciate Juvie. Minus, again, Wayne Heat back that ass so everybody know that. But niggas went listening to Ha and all that shit, like. Oh, you know that big body bands, huh? You know what I'm saying? Nigga went listening to all that shit like that. Like, even beyond that, because I feel like that's right up there with back that ass, so honestly. In the grand scheme of things, like, yo. And then 400 degrees. Yeah, 400 degrees slept on too. I feel I got one more for y'all. Feel like slept on. He a rapper, and I feel like he slept on as far as our generation concerned. And that shit, Project Pat. Oh, I don't know a nigga sleeping on Pat. As far as this generation though, 18 to 30, I feel like niggas sleeping on Pat. Wait, wait, I, I know some 18 year olds sleeping on Pat, but nigga, yeah. nigga, you over 25, you ain't sleeping on Pat. So 18 to uh, 24, yo, yeah. yo, they probably, nigga know about that pack. Unless you grew up on, like, nigga watching Choices and all that shit, like, uh, a lot of niggas ain't, ain't tuned in to that type of shit, though. But uh, I feel like some people be sleep on pack again, minus the hits. We talking about tuned in for real. I ain't talking about just chicken head. I ain't talking about Ryan Spindles. Oh, and I'll take that back. Ryan Spindles, Pat when ain't on Ryan Spindles. Yeah, that three six. That three six. I'll take that back. I'm sorry. But we just gonna say chicken head. Minus chicken head. Like niggas don't know cheese and dope. Mr. Don't, don't, don't play. Know, Ryan. You know what I'm saying? Cheese. You feel me? Like, Aggravated robber. All that kind of shit. I don't feel like people. As far as that generation, that window, I feel like Pat don't really get all his flowers like that. Other yeah, than niggas who really own that. that type of shit. I agree with that. No, I think, oh, that's what I was thinking about too. Who? Other than my goddamn beating up little kid bullshit. Um, a versus with cash money and goddamn truth. Truth. Two chain T R U Nah, hell no. Nah. Um, motherfucking the No Limit Soldiers got Master oh, P. Oh, and who? T R U nigga. No, I'm saying and who you say against oh, Cash Money? Yeah. So you think you got that Master P? Cash Money, Bird Man. Cash Money, Cash Money all day. Hit for hit, twenty songs versus yeah, twenty songs. Yeah, ain't no. We talking about, I'm talking about like, ain't no goddamn, we ain't using shit from the 2003 and up. I'm talking about goddamn. Then definitely cash money. Yeah, I'm definitely cash money. I'm, I'm like, I can think of five cash money songs that uh, blow them niggas out the water. Are you a big, you heard, you heard a lot of, you know them niggas got Man, the P, that bitch make an album with 50 songs on that whole goddamn, seven niggas on that, on every song. <laughs> But every week, 
<laughs> you know why I take cab money over over no limit though? And I'm gonna say that I take cab money over no limit simply because P was P was trying to rap, bro, but P wasn't no good rapper. Okay, I can say Birdman was trying to rap, but Birdman wasn't no good <laughs> but rapper. But listen, bro. though, this is where I was finna go. Birdman was a better rapper than P. Hell no. Nah. You drunk as fuck. Birdman was a better rapper than Master P on God. Oh, hey, they gotta get, <laughs> hey, they gotta, hell no. Nah. What, nigga? Nigga, rap a whole Master P verse. Look, man, we not finna. <laughs> Nigga, Nigga Birdman Bird was, was a whole was Robert a Birdman Bird. Man, fuck yeah. Let's go listen. We gotta go listen to them hoes, man. Birdman was a better. Yeah, rapper play rapper um uh, rapper Birdman was Playboy. <laughs> hey, everybody wanna go out there and hit that shit. Every man. song that they got on outside of Cam Money, he just so happened to be in the right place at the right time. But his verse was hard, cause listen, P don't have a my nigga I'm finna say some real shit to you, dog. P don't have a verse that's harder. Then baby verse on Gator Bulls with Look, the yeah, Nigga, who the who? Who the Bro. who? That's a cold for the killer. P verse is not harder than baby verses on Goddamn. I got everything in my mom. Nigga, P don't have a verse harder. Right, man, that have to be on that. Man, of fresh looked out. Yeah, what? I said yes. What? I said man, of fresh looked out. Everybody looks out for Birdman when he get on the damn song. What you mean he looked out? How you? Why you say that? Looked Birdman out. was just heard the beat and seen. He was like, shit, hey, Playboy, you know you got to let me be on them. They were like, oh, fuck. All right, shit. I ain't even want this nigga to fucking hear this shit. All right, bro, go ahead. Nah, that's, how, that's how he get on all his stuff. Ain't nobody fucking calling Birdman and hop on that shit. Bro, Birdman wasn't no hired help, bro. He wouldn't know how it help on the so He you, can rap, bro. You think if them niggas wasn't signed to this nigga today, he would be on something else? So oh, that what you're saying? That, that was good. I don't agree with that, but I'm not saying. <laughs> listen, I'm not saying Birdman just get on no shit and be boo boo until his later years. That rich gang shit, he could have killed all that. <laughs> but I'm talking about, we talking about cash money. We talking about. All that shit that drop it like it's hot drop drop. We talking about all that shit. Birdman had some legendary verses, bro. Yeah, he got more harder verses than P, bro. I'm standing on that, bro. Birdman got harder '90s verses and early 2000 verses than P, bro. I mean, I don't agree, but. I feel you, bro. That's why I got you here, bro. That's what you, bro. That was so. P verse home make them say, "Long and hard." Nah, nah, nah. That nah. shit when the hook was hard. Nah. His verse went. I'm just saying, bro. That just that's just how I feel about that, bro. On, on that, man. Name him. Name me one. Besides, got down. Oh, um, got everything. Name me one. Quotable from goddamn Birdman. Quotable? What you mean, quotable? Look, that's some shit that she say, goddamn, so you can think of some shit. He processes it now. He like, he said, quotable. You bro. say quotable? What you mean, quotable? Verse, saying, beat? Yeah, you know saying from goddamn bird, man, that he said in the verse. Shit, that goddamn, uh, all you said minus that song. <laughs> I'll wait. Anything. You beat me. Okay. You beat me. You beat me. <laughs> You beat me, my nigga. You beat me. You beat me with that one. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> that, if you let me think, though. If you let me think, I I, I got you. You don't got to think. All right. Think of goddamn something little baby said. A quotable. I don't know. I can't really tell you right now. Like that. Oh, no. Wham, wham, wham. Bitch, I'm the baby. Okay. Like that you still thought of something. You didn't think of shit with Birdman outside the house. <laughs> <laughs> I could've though, bro. You didn't give me no time, bro. I could've. I could've, for sure. I could've, bro. You should've gave me a little more time. It's all good, though. I ain't tripping. But yo, man, free, um, free my nigga, um, C Murder. Yo, free C Murder and free that boy BG, man. For sure. Now he still in? Yeah, BG. Still oh, in. got out. It was Turk that got out. Turk got out. Yeah. He said some bullshit on the phone. <laughs> Interview. <laughs> <laughs> that boy said, you know everybody. 
You, you play a little gay games with your partner? Nah, nigga, don't nobody, don't nobody do that, bro. Hey, man, bitch, you look sexy today. Nah, nah I ain't bro. nobody. <laughs> a nigga might be like, oh, boy, you put that shit on. Nah, niggas ain't calling nigga sex out there. Nah. I mean, if you and your friends do that, man, y'all, shout out to y'all, but me and my friends don't. <laughs> we just gonna say bro, that, bro. Oh, my. Five niggas get beat, but Your but friends. Your friends is it? Yeah, he's soft. Yeah, yeah, clean, <laughs> my boy. He clean. That about far as that shit gonna go. Hey, <laughs> you can't take that as a compliment, my nigga. I don't know what to tell you, for sure. Yeah, yeah, bro. I got some other shit, man, minus all that cab money and no limit shit, bro. We gonna talk about some real shit, bro. This this shit important for the culture, and I'm gonna say this: Who hitting harder, bro? Martin or Jamie Foxx show, bro? You want me to give you my answer? I give you my answer. I don't understand on it. Martin oh, hitting harder, bro. Martin hitting way harder than Jamie Foxx. No, no flat to Jamie Foxx show. Jamie Foxx show was hard. Now I watched all the seasons of both, but if I had to pick. Martin hitting way harder than Jamie Foxx. Give a damn. Nobody say. What you feel? Let me tell you the truth. Ain't never really watched none of them music like this. Oh, <laughs> I damn. watched more, uh, Martin more. I probably ain't never seen a full episode of Jamie Foxx, so I'm telling you the truth. Damn, Tino Bray. I'm finna revoke your black card. What the My hell? Own. I don't think that not that shit, bro. I probably watching Will the Fred Prince Bill though. Cause I was like, well, you know, some player shit. You ain't watch no black sitcoms, bro. Nah, that's how I seen Marvin got down. I ain't even did. So minus other than Fred Prince, what other black sitcoms you were tuned into? Name some. She you ain't watch goddamn Parenthood. Nope. Goddamn. I said Jamie Foxx, said Martin, you said Fred Prince. Uh, Steve Harvey show. Hell no. Nah. Damn, that Steve Harvey, Mr. Hightower, nigga, Mr. Hightower with this shit. See, you said that. I don't really know if that, that nigga name or not. That's how much I didn't watch. <laughs> Damn, Tino. That nigga could have got down low flow. Damn, I don't know. <laughs> Damn, Tino, what's some more black shit called? One-on-one. -on -one. Nope. Half and half. Nope. Girlfriend. Nope. The Parkers. Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say, God <laughs> damn, you know, you got to give me some, but God, but I was gonna shit off and write you off, but they were like Jerry Fritz, so. <laughs> oh man, you like you used to write wrestling too, then. Yeah, yeah. I know if you watch like that shit, of course you watch wrestling. Nigga, that shit, come on, the same. I had no other choice. What, what what you used to like about Jerry Springer? Bro? You got now funny as fuck. You see him? <laughs> what you like about wrestling? Man. That shit was funny as hell, too. Hey, bro, I'm gonna tell you some funny shit about wrestling, bro. Man, my mama first husband was like. A wrestler? Like, no, oh, hell no. no. <laughs> <laughs> he he should have been. He thought he was. <laughs> he thought he was. Uh, yeah, nigga thought he was a rock because he could lift one eyebrow. <laughs> nigga thought he was the Brahma Bull. <laughs> hell no. Hey, man, shout out. I want to say that, man. That's my dog, man. That nigga know everything. It's all fun and games, man. That nigga thought he was the wrong boy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, nigga, I ain't forget. <laughs> you do that shit when you a kid, too. Yeah, you look, man. Awesome. <laughs> nigga be holding one side of his face trying to lift that shit. Boy, you look crazy here. Anyway, um, but for sure, bro. But it's so crazy, bro, because we used to always try to tell nigga, like, bro, like, what's your obsession with this shit, bro? This shit is not real. You couldn't tell him that shit wasn't real, dog. Like, no grown ass man, bro. You could not tell this nigga that these nigga went punching, kicking. I said, bro, if a grown man throw you into the ropes, you're not gonna just come back to cuz. Like, you know what I'm just saying? <laughs> and you know he finna punch you, bro. You gonna let a nigga throw you to the ropes so you just come back. And you know you finna, like, just all off and bust shit out there. <laughs> Like he break clothes out your ass. Like bro, he finna fire on your ass as soon as you come out the road. Like ain't no way, bro. You can't believe this shit, bro. Like we even watched a little behind the scenes show. They showed how a nigga had a microphone under the stage so you can hear the. That nigga was like, bro, that shit is real. Now some of the shit, I say like the stunts and shit. Like they putting they sell through real, but of course the nigga just ain't. Full blown, that punching niggas, this motherfucking <laughs> nose, 250 pound niggas, yeah. 
Punch you in your seat. That's what I said. I said, bro, look at how big these dudes is, bro. Like, if they was really punching each other, fool, it'll be some real damage in there. Look at UFC. They not as big as wrestlers, you know, as WWE motherfuckers. And they doing damage because them niggas at him for real. And they got them gloves on and still open the nigga up like a watermelon. So that's what I'm saying. You're asking them boys ain't got on no gloves, no nothing. They two times bigger. And they out there be flopping around and shit. It's some little drawers and boots, man. Come on, bro. You tripping, bro. I say, bro, he he hell, bro. You couldn't tell him that shit went real, though, bro. That's that's facts, bro. He look at them injuries. I like, see, you fuck around, play flag football, you might get you a real injury, you feel me? You know, yeah, you ain't tackling, like, but. For sure. You just doing any physical activity, you might fuck around, break some shit, or goddamn land wrong. A nigga might hit you for real. Play fighting, you might hit a nigga to know for real. And like, I got a, I got a real fight now. <laughs> yeah, that slap box and shit. Or you right. gotta act like you hurt something on yourself, so yeah. nigga don't be that mad. That shit wild though, bro. <laughs> I just couldn't, I just couldn't never get over the fact that, bro. When as a matter of fact, I went to a wrestling show with this nigga one time. I ain't gonna lie though, I still that shit is entertaining. That shit, okay. like a, that shit like a movie to me. Or like a goddamn, cause see, people say, but you know that shit fake, but you know that motherfucking power fake, but you still finna see if this nigga finna get yeah. killed or not. But that's straight though. If you watch it from an entertainment point, then cool. But if you like under the impression that this shit a real fight, you need to back off. You know what I'm saying? You need to back off of that. Cause hell no, nah, bro. You can't be that naive. Like if you know like, okay, this shit's some entertainment. Then cool, my nigga, you straight. But if you believe this shit going on for real, no. No, yeah. it's not. I ain't why that shit on some entertainment. I can fuck with this. I can fun. Now, this shit is fun. Like, this these niggas have a full blown 10, 15 minute fight. Niggas yeah. flying through the yeah. <laughs> Niggas get thrown out this bitch. The storyline and shit. I used to be into it when I was real, real young. But they get getting hit with goddamn chills and tables and shit, yo. Yeah. I still want to know what them tail made of, though. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Cause I ain't gonna lie, them niggas be smacking the shit out the nigga we have with them tail. Tail they be sitting down there. Oh, God. So them bitches got to be some type of substance in these hoes. I feel you on my mama, I do. Like, for real. And shout out Randy Orton, too. He's my favorite, bro. RKO, nigga. He used to be the guy now, like, the bad nigga. You know, I like the villain. My favorite wrestling when I did watch that shit was Stone Cold, bro. I just like Stone Cold. He don't give a fuck. That nigga seemed like he... He might be racist for real. <laughs> he was racist in the Longest Yard. He might not be. We just look like one hey, of you them. seen him in the Longest Yard? Like one of the white boys. They got <laughs> Yo, old Texas rattlesnake for real. Like, <laughs> I feel up. Yeah, but you ain't no D. Are you a bitch? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want them niggas. <laughs> Yo, hey, but that was my favorite wrestler, though. Him and before him, though, I used to fuck when back wrestling with WCW. Like, I used um, to like Big Papa Pump. Eddie Guerrero. Oh god, Eddie Guerrero used to have them. Whips on the nigga. Them wow. bitches were clean too. Yeah, if you ever watch wrestling, you know what I'm talking about. For sure. I know there's some people listening to this shit who used to watch wrestling. He's live cheating still on that home. Yeah. That boy that Eddie boy Guerrero. Rise, that boy right to nigga. <laughs> Eddie Guerrero went out crazy though on the cocaine and the hookers in the hotel room. Tripping. All right, well, that man, Chris Benoit, he's the one that went Oh, down. damn, yeah, yeah, yeah. They just claim that nigga. Yeah. Cause he ain't fine, isn't he? And himself. I'm talking about, that shit was a big thing, bro. I don't know. Hey, and speaking of that, though, and I hate, bro, killed himself and, and his family and shit. Uh, some other shit on, on a more serious note. Bro, you seen what they were talking about, like, having teachers have guns? Like, teachers, like, yeah. arming teachers to try to, I guess cut down on school shootings. Like, I don't know. My personal thoughts on that, I'm like, shit, y'all act like a teacher won't add that whole eye too. You don't know what this teacher going through. You don't know what this teacher, you know what I mean? Before this teacher got here, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the teacher might come in here and ain't never handled, you know, I'm sure they'll have to go through some kind of firearm training or whatever, but at the same time, that still don't account for a person's mental capacity. You know what I mean? The teacher might come in here sick of these students, tired of the principal, and she take they got them everyday gun that they got issued to be a teacher and shut this whole down just like a student would. You feel me? Hmm? That's my personal opinion on that. Uh -huh. Okay. You don't want to sit down? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. 
All right. <laughs> Up the found jackass <laughs> in the classroom. But well, so what you think would be a good, you feel me, combating against school shooting in the United States? I heard this shit don't really happen nowhere else. Man, I besides like, the United States. I feel like you gotta secure the schools, like for real. Like get you a couple police and some metal detectors and put you three, four doors in that bit before you get to the main part of the school people gotta go through. That shit an inconvenience, but your child, you know what I'm saying? What what at what point is too much security for your child? You know, most schools that got the little resource officer up there, he probably fat in hell, he just there to eat lunch and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that gonna happen. But if you put like three, four, five police officers at this school and have them man and metal detectors and you know, shit, I feel like that cut down on the shit too. Why they said I said they said this shit don't happen. Well, I don't really know about the attempts. Because it might be in some attempts somewhere else. They just couldn't get yeah. in because it probably was, like how you were saying, some police or any deterrent. Right. Got down anything. They was like, oh, fuck. And he was bringing this bitch in here. Yeah. And then I seen they were talking about automatic guns, too. You think, oh, rifle. So you think them whole, like, worse than got down handguns? Well, automatic rifle? I mean, I ain't talking about that. I'm just talking about if you got damn Glock shoot 30 and this motherfucking AK shoot 30. Um, just cause I know guns, nah, cause both of them are key. So I don't think either one is, you know what I mean? I mean, that shit go up in the gun laws and shit cause it'd be like, why the fuck you gotta be 21 to buy a pistol but you can buy an AK at 18, you know what I'm saying? But ain't neither one of them no, no, no better or worse than the other. Both of them are horrible because they are both key. You know what I'm saying? Now, I do feel like in if you're talking about somebody using one of those weapons as far as a school shooting, an AK would be worse due to how short a hallway or how small a classroom is. That shit would be horrible. You feel me? But, yeah, in the grand scheme of things, I feel like all that shit fucked up. Like, we just got to do better at securing the schools and securing people's lives. You know what I'm saying? Even outside the schools, they like to do, I mean, do it, shout out the church and all kind of shit. Like, we just got to be better at, at preserving life, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, yeah, that's some real shit. True. So do you think, and this going off on a whole nother tilt. Because you know we like to make hard lefts in this motherfucker. We'll yeah. do it in a heartbeat. What's up, cuz? Tell me what's up. Do you think guns was just a good, like, good invention? Like, I'm glad that we have guns, like everybody. Yeah, because guns ain't a problem. It's the people with guns that be the problem. Guns don't kill motherfuckers. People with guns kill people. I'm saying, but like, what if guns wasn't made at all, though? Then Nobody we, ever had guns. Then again, we can't miss what we ain't never had. Niggas want to know how to use them, I feel like. It'll be a hell of a lot of good fighters. <laughs> I feel like they with knives out there, so and yeah, there gonna be a lot of sharp objects. They got little sticky niggas out there. But I feel like it wouldn't be as much bullshit going on because a gun is a quick decision. You know what I'm saying? Like if you shoot a motherfucker, like then you hit the nigga from so far away. You see what I'm saying? Like it ain't personal. Like you gotta really hate a nigga to stab me because that's some personal shit. Like y'all had a real problem. So I feel like guns are good if you protecting your home, you protecting your person, you protecting, you know, your children, whatever. Yeah, because you might not be a, a, a type of individual who is a fighter or know how to fight or do no physical shit. So if you get in this situation, you need to go and pop your nigga and nigga, get right. Nigga cool. might have to adapt, though. That's one, if you ain't have, you, you'll be an adapter. Or if you if they adapt. never had guns, if guns were never invented, then she, you right. The motherfuckers yeah. just need to know how to square up. Yeah, you have to be a good weapons expert. It might be a stick. This bitch might be a knife or machete. <laughs> or you might just have to punch a nigga. But goddamn, you go to the club, you know, that's the worst that might happen. Right. And this fuck nigga got a switchblade on him. Hey, you feel me? You gotta worry about this nigga having no goddamn gun shooting your ass. Yup. But don't get close to buddy because he might stick you. He gonna stick you. I don't give a damn. You get in a knife fight, you gonna get cut. That's right.
But yeah, uh, that's what I'm thinking. Like, nigga ain't never had a gun. This shit probably be so much different. Oh, wars yeah. and shit. This nigga probably wouldn't even have war. They probably set up that shit on over the phone. Oh, yeah. Like, for hey, sure. bro. Cause wars ain't about nothing but money, bro. That shit about shit, money and research. Chill out on them taxes, bro. <laughs> Yo, so what you gonna do? Come over here and start a fist fight, nigga? You slap to your ass. Yo, like, that's about as far as you gonna go. Nigga slapped and got damn poked out there. <laughs> exactly. Like, that's, that's the shit that, that's the shit that blow me, like, you know, again, like you said, if guns are never created, then what you gonna do? You got to go fight to a nigga, Tokyo nigga, something. You can't just pull up and squeeze on a motherfucker. But I think a lot of people hide behind guns because they run from them air with them. But like you were saying, though, now a nigga might don't know how to fight or don't like to fight. Right. Like, hey, I'm gonna use this gun so I can avoid this situation. Right. Because, bitch, I don't wanna fight today. I don't give a fuck how many. Fuck niggas, you call me bitches or nigga fight twelve, put the gun away, be a man. No, cause yeah. I think you might get mad to do. Yeah, and some nigga will, some nigga wear your ass like a coat. And that's how nigga. I'm talking about. Ain't gonna lie, that's how I think some nigga be getting killed too. Yeah, fucking with niggas who don't want to be fucked with. Nigga don't want to talk that ass. Like I wasn't gonna do shit to you until you got the fucking with me. Yeah, provoked. Now I gotta shoot you. Got to. Ain't no way around. I don't know other way. <laughs> No way around it. I mean, I don't know. That shit, that shit kind of crazy, bro. I feel like loss of life is always some, you know, that shit ain't cool. I don't care how it go down. But if you have to protect yourself, if it's you or them, hey, I don't know. It is what it is. That's why you need your pistol permit. Everybody who listening to this, go get you a pistol permit. Get you a legal pistol so you can protect yourself and make sure all you and all your surroundings are good. You and anybody you're responsible for are good. And the police pull up, give them a pistol and a pistol permit, let them run that shit, and you going home. They have gun hot, yeah, going to the chain gang. <laughs> I'm gonna just tell you like this. That gun hot, yeah, going to the chain gang. So go ahead and go ahead and get uh get yeah. your fire register. I second that. Every nigga that can, yeah, need to get you some fire. Even if got down, because I don't like when niggas just be on the oh shit, if I need a gun to go to uh, I don't think I should go with uh, a nigga be like, oh, better to have one than not. Yes, bitch, it is better to have one than not to have one. Not even much on no nigga shit. Yeah. You might get out the fucking car and the motherfucking werewolf run up on <laughs> you. Mountain lion got down, anything out the woods run up on you. Yeah. You're not finna fight this motherfucker. Yeah. A gun gonna be your best option in that shit. That bitch run up on you trying to kill you. Yeah. That's not even much on no nigga shit, you feel me? That's just on, I can protect myself now. Right. When I get the fine, team. goddamn, all this, this barking and shit you doing, go through. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> We're going to change your tune out like this whole for you sure. See, you're not going to be doing all that. Yeah. That barking, it might be some dogs, anything you got to protect. Yeah. It just ain't for niggas. Yeah, you just to do no, no crazy shit. I see what you're saying. So, yeah, I encourage everybody to go get you some legal fire. Go get you some legal, go get you a legal gun. If you don't understand what we saying, go get you a legal weapon and put that on your name, get you a permit, and protect yourself because you don't never know what's going to happen, man. 2022, people on crazy shit, people on bullshit. So definitely uh, protect yourself at all costs. Uh, Tino to take another hard left, which we always like to do. Oh my God, I got one more thing I wanted to ask you, bro. And you, how many relationships you say you've been in, fool? Like that count. No, two. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna ask you this, bro. Are 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 nudes important to a relationship? Depends. On what? Where she at? Where she at? Yeah. Like on oh, how because oh, it is. Oh. I said, I go on on my relationship, so the first look half we were together and the shit in the same place but got down. Second to half, she was in Mobile, you feel me? I was in Huntsville. Yeah. So, yeah. I need that little motivation there and out again, goddamn. Send me a little, you feel me? Tita, goddamn. Little booty pistol, goddamn. You did. Send the goddamn morale, my. But, yeah. So, to you, it's important in a relationship. Nudes are important in a relationship to you if your chick, like, if you can't get to your chick, is what yeah. you're saying. 
So if you can get to it, it don't matter. Oh yeah, we together, stay together. You ain't gotta send me shit. We ain't gotta, we ain't even gotta talk on the phone. We ain't gotta text none of that too much. You stay together. I'm gonna see you when I get home. <laughs> I'm gonna see you. Damn, Damn boy. I ain't gonna lie, I need them pictures. You and that's probably, that. why, that's probably why I ain't in my own relationship. <laughs> yes. Hey, I need that. I need that. Hey, that shit important though. I feel like that's, that's goddamn like a form of foreplay before you get to, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a mental thing. I feel like you gotta, you gotta mentally stimulate before you can stimulate anybody physically. You gotta stimulate them mentally. You know, I feel like that's a mental thing. Stimul form of mental stimulation, aka foreplay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I get you if yeah. uh, we ain't got to text all day, we ain't got to talk on the phone, all uh, that good shit. I ain't no phone type of person anyway. So cool, I get that part. But them pistols and that, yeah, nigga got to have that. If we was gonna do it, like if we know, if she know, because it, it rises mostly. Then. We be our lady still. This shit be on if the female want to fucking not. Cause a nigga they ain't never really no time we not in the mood. Like that <laughs> shit. Preach. I did get on hard unless you got erectile dysfunction or some shit. I sit get on hard. You look at a nigga too long, goddamn. But licky lips, anything with the shit. But you trying to fuck? <laughs> <laughs> shit. So yeah, if we planning on that. Yeah. I'm at work or something, I'm finna get off and you might say you feel but pissy got down your titties out with your tongue sticking out of shit. They were like, oh shit. And she like, yeah, yeah, they got me off right here. I'm finna. Yeah, but you just send her this shit and we not finna. And we stay together. Nah, we ain't even gotta do all that. <laughs> I love your perspective on shit, bro. Like your perspective be like, it's it's understandable. Like I begin where you be coming from. You know what I mean? But yeah, I get it. I get what you're saying, bro. That that but makes you, sense. But you just want to see like your girl might see you some shit on Monday, twelve o'clock in the goddamn afternoon. Send it to me. But you don't fuck till Friday. I don't give a damn. Send it to me. Let me know you thinking about it. Send it to me. That's it. That's it. I don't know. I feel like that shit keep. I feel like that shit keep you stimulated mentally. But y'all stay together. Man. You know? That cool. Oh. That cool. Hey, shit, I mean, look, a lot of times that shit be about the energy that you keep when y'all apart, you know what I'm saying? We always giving people relationship advice and shit. But, nah, I feel like that, though. Like, the energy you keep when y'all apart, that shit be interesting. Like, that shit be interesting and important. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel about it, though. That's just me. Again, right. that's just me. You know what I'm saying? They gonna listen to me. I ain't gonna... Hey man, it's you know you ain't got all, you ain't all that bad, bro. I'm waiting on the right one, bro. I on the hill, bro. On the hill. So let me ask you another question though. And why don't we even be asking you questions, bro? We just be bringing up shit, talking about it. this. Is how we really talk to each other. We just really, I don't know, get perspectives on a lot of shit. Um, away from the relationship aspect, what's the what's the what you would say the worst part of being an adult is? I know it. I feel like we're gonna agree on this shit, and I think I already know what you're gonna say. What's the worst part of being an adult for you? Right, just real responsibilities. Motherfucking my, bills. That my words got that. Bills. That, that falls in front of that. Bills. But yeah, responsible like rising responsibilities. That shit the word part of being the Which adult. yeah, which equates to goddamn bills, which equates to money, which equates to you. Yes, fucking bills. Even if I got the money to pay for the shit, I'm such a procrastinator. <laughs> but like that shit. That my worst, cause I was gonna ask you that shit too. What you think your worst, like trait or um, habit that you got? What you think your worst? You feel me? As an adult? Nah, nigga. As a goddamn. As kid. a person, just in mm -hmm. general. As a kid and your mama want. Yes, nigga. As a adult. <laughs> <laughs> as a right now, goddamn. Like yeah. what you think your worst? But yeah, them bills and shit was just answer your question, y'all. Yeah. yeah. Bills, re 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 real responsibilities. Yeah, shit that you gotta be accountable for is the worst. Um, like, the shit that taxes my name, like, I don't pay this, so I'm gonna get in trouble. 
That shit horrible. Like and legalities of being. I'm gonna put my credit. Y'all been telling them motherfucker got down there. He ain't pay the bills. Go, you go try to get it. Yeah. If I ain't fucking pay you, I'm not paying the goddamn collection people do. <laughs> Bitch, I ain't have it then. I don't have it now. Y'all get y'all can't get it till I get it. Shit, on huh? I ain't gonna lie with the collection people though. You can goddamn pay a significantly smaller amount of money than what you originally owed to the regular collectors. Yeah, just let people get know that shit settled. Just let people know that too. Yeah, but yeah, sure. yeah, if you if your shit go to to collection, now nah, it's gonna got that drop your credit score and all that, you know. But you probably don't give a fuck. You ain't pay for shit. <laughs> you already knew that. I ain't feeling so. But if your shit goes to collection and you owe four thousand dollars on shit, you don't gotta pay the collection people. They gonna yeah, of course, but you can probably pay them a fraction. Of that money by eight hundred to a thousand, and see you feel me what they say. They gonna wipe that shit off. Yeah, yeah. I done did that before. You don't have to got down. I been it. Yes, I been that nigga. Listen, got down. Um. <laughs> nigga had real life problems. Hey, you feel me? Shit, hey that's bad. real shit though. But I feel I feel you on that. That's really the worst part of being an adult, bro. Is the real responsibility and the and the like. Bills, bro, which fall under that for so. And to answer your question, I feel like my worst trait as an adult is procrastinating. Like shit, I know I gotta do, I can't avoid. I push it out to the last minute. Like rent due on the first, nigga. I'm like, fuck, I pay that shit on the seat just cause. You feel like you see it is what it is, bro. Like goddamn, y'all gonna get it regardless. What is it? You a bird? No, yeah, you say Virgo. I be trying to goddamn. Yeah. They be talking about normal hard skills and shit. See, I have procrastinators too. Yeah, for sure. I definitely. I know I'm the biggest procrastinator. But right. I get shit done though. I yeah, get it see, done. Yeah. Just at the last minute. <laughs> yeah. And and I feel like that shit molded me to work better under pressure. So you're going to get the best me if I do this shit at the last minute. If I do it ahead of time, it's going to be some bullshit. I'm going to tell you straight up. They say how bad my shit is. Yeah. My shit so bad. Nigga tell me right now. Hey, bro, I got you a million dollars downtown. And the Williams Fargo building on the 35th floor got there. All you got to do is come get it within 30 days. Day 29, he on the elevator. Day 29, I'm got down scrambling. I'm like, oh, fuck, let me make sure, let me make sure I get here on time type shit. Like, that's how bad I am with that procrastination shit. Yeah. If I can wait to do some shit, I'm going to wait to do it to the lab pop of shit. Like, that shit not good. That shit is not good at all, bro. Any procrastinators, including myself, we got to fix that. We got to fix that. But that procrastination, that shit will put you behind the eight ball every time, bro. So even in, even in retrospect to that question, though, what, what you feel like the best part of being an adult is, like, in your adult life? i say the best part... That you, I say that you got your freedom and you right to like know all your business. What you mean know all your business? Like you got something that you got to do. No, they're not contacting anybody else. They contact oh, yeah, you. I see what you're saying. Like, they ain't like, I got to call your mama, call your Yeah, name. like, it's you. Robert Taylor, you yeah. have got down such and such that you have, you feel me? Like, that shit coming to you. Yeah. I see what you're saying. I agree. Like, you know, all your goddamn, all your beans you got going on, you know it. Right. They're not hitting nobody else over battle with you. I think they're cool. You see them, but like, they got to talk to you. Yeah. I like, I, I feel you. I definitely agree with you on the freedom part. Uh, I feel like the best part of being an adult is the freedom that comes with being an adult. Now, it ain't free. Your freedom ain't free. Them, you buy yourself 30 more days in your spot every first of the month. You got to pay them lights. You got to do all that shit. But at least it's yours. You can go in there and do what you want to do. You can walk around how you want to walk around. You can say what you want to say. You can tell people no. The freedom that come along with, with being an adult is the bad part. But you got to handle the part you don't want to handle, which is the responsibilities, in order to enjoy the best parts of the shit. You feel me? Like I just wanted to be grown so I could have sex and cuss. I ain't righteous one to like do all the other shit. Like the responsibility. I really just wanted to have sex and clothes, bro. Like that's the only reason I really wanted to be grown, bro. Uh, but all this other shit that came along with it, that shit ghetto, straight up and down. Been grown and couldn't. 
I just wanted to be grown so I can have sex and cuss, bro. That's all I want to do, bro. Damn, I see you just on some. Can't nobody tell me what to do. Yeah. I just have my Freedom. own. My shit was just on, like, just having my own shit. Can't nobody tell me out there I can't do this, you know? I can drink all night, music play all night. Go niggas, to, bro, like, I don't want to ask people a lot of shit because I don't like people telling me no. <laughs> that nigga sound like people telling nah, me no. there's the words they can say, like, I'm on some other shit, but I don't want to like giving people chance to tell me no. Right. But goddamn, I think they got one up on me. Yeah, I feel you. I tell a bit quick, hey, look, I want to even listen to that. But yeah, you ain't got to say that. You got, I got you. You ain't got to say that on everything. Hey, for sure, man. Hey, I want to take another minute to uh, shout out our sponsors again. I uh, definitely want to take a minute to shout out Buzzsprout. Again, if you want to start a podcast, if you're thinking about starting a podcast, if you already got your podcast recording and just looking for a place to put it out, go sign up at buzzsprout.com. So Buzzsprout can get you to pick a plan, sign up, and set up your profile and get you out on all major platforms, just like you hearing us on all major platforms. Go check out Buzzsprout. And also, again, shout out Light New Window Cleaning. Light New Window Cleaning is our in-house homegrown sponsor. That's Tino's business. Uh, go get your windows cleaned and looking like new for your residential and commercial window cleaning. Business needs, uh, hit them up in the Birmingham, Hoover, Vestavia area at 205-427-0303. Again, 205-427-0303. That's light new window cleaning. If you need your windows commercial or residentially clean and looking like new. Tino, man, what, what else going on, bro, before we get up out of here, man? I'm right, going to ask you this. What's up? How many times do you get somebody to do some disrespectful shit before you react? Before I react, when you say react, what you mean react? Like, in like a fucked up way or like just leave them alone? React. Whatever you react reacting to them. You know how some people, you know how they see some people got down, they just say they go to the grocery store and somebody got down, hit the back of their heel with a buggy. And niggas say, hey, bro, you got one more time to got down, hit the back of my heel with that shit. Mm. Or you got mm. one more time to got down. Slap me and spit on me before I can have do See, slapping and spitting on me, that shit ain't, nah, that shit going down right then. That ain't got no time in it. Hit my ankle with a buggy, it just depends on what you were doing when you hit my ankle. And like, if you hit my ankle once and I'd be like, oh, you good? Then you hit my shit again and I'd be like, hey, bro, like, you straight? Like, I feel like, yeah, I'm going to say three. You got to that third time. It's going to be a problem. So I'm going to say three, bro, to answer your question on that. But, like, some other shit, man, nah, I could look over a lot of shit. But that three, like, slapping and spitting, nah, that shit going down. Like, you argue with your girl, she slapping you. Like, bitch, you got one more time. Got to put your hands on me before I, yeah, I ain't even restrain you. Yeah, yeah, restrain, yeah. I'm like, I like how you did that. Yeah, restrain, I like how you did it. Yeah, because ain't no fighting, ain't no putting no hands on no wings, man. But restrain so I can get away. Yeah, I got slapped one. You got one time slapped me. Because I ain't going to lie, but some women be heavy hand. That shit hurt. So I'm saying, so you, you don't think it's no good time to hit a woman? No. No good time? No. Hell no. Nah. All right, look, I'm going to just put that in. You can still, you feel me? I know you're going to feel whatever type of way you feel about it. I'm just saying this. These are say, those thoughts and opinions. Now, say you took your baby to a daycare. Right. And then if your baby, it got down 32 degrees outside. They went to the store. Whatever the fuck K may be, they left your baby unattended in the car. Nine hours got down. Your baby down there froze. You feel me? You got down, see this bitch who left your motherfucking baby in that bitch. You like, well, I'm going to kill this hoe when I see her. But you say, you know what? I'm not going to kill him. But I'm going to beat her ass, though. You don't think that's better than to kill him? I ain't going to fight no women, bro. I'm going to be mad. Now, I might bring a woman with me who's going to whoop that hoe. <laughs> but yeah. I'm not going to do it. You might be like, well, I need to get a lick on this. I might be like, okay, look, he ain't killed the bitch. Cause I was finna kill your ass for goddamn doing this shit to my goddamn baby with. I just hit you one time. I'm gonna bring somebody with me who gonna wipe the floor with her ass, but I'm not gonna do it. But what if they get the whooping goddamn who you brought with them? 
then that's my bad. That's my fault for having poor motherfucking judgment. Yeah, they could be thinking that though. Yeah, you right. Man. They be thinking that because they mad or got that whoop the whoop. You know, I'm beat your ass. I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> that, that don't mean you got that to whoop the nigga ass because you mad now. That nigga probably still do some bullshit to beat your ass everybody, in the process. Everybody Billy Badass to Billy Badass show up. Got you me. like, oh, fuck, this nigga, he don't got... <laughs> this nigga strong. I thought I was just finna come whoop butt ass because I was mad, but shit. You don't need his bullshit and still whoop my ass. Reality <laughs> Hey, what Mike Tyson say, everybody got a plan till they get hit in the mouth on God. You feel it? I be telling niggas, I'm like, bro, just because you mad don't mean you can beat my ass. What the fuck I'm mad to you? Don't mean you can fight. <laughs> shit. I can do some bullshit to you here. I'm going to beat this nigga out. Yeah, that shit sound good. Yeah, you I'm still going to defend myself. Yeah. And I might be able to defend bitch. myself better than what you can. Yeah. You don't know. Especially when you never fought. You right, you don't know. You just on what you finna do to a nigga, but you don't know what this thick ass might do to you, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> but you absolutely right. Well, your ass might have a little doubt, because that one little bit of doubt was gonna get you knocked the fuck out. Because you know that jawline can't... get weak. Nigga, you in that jawline, you gonna sleep. <laughs> you, can come, you can come ready to fight all day. Like, yeah, nigga, grown man shit. Bitch, I'm finna come. I'm finna come. <laughs> you feel me? A nigga might got to get the best of you and keep getting the best of you. <laughs> you can't defeat and hold somebody out there to stop this nigga ass. Because <laughs> they did point they fight shit ain't working. <laughs> That's why we said before, everybody need to go get them a gun, bro. At least you can shoot in the air twice, shoot that nigga feet, and get up out of there. Hey, look, hey, look, stop this. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> Yeah, this is, this is what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh, but that's real. You ain't mad no more. You just like, bro, you about to get this nigga off my head. <laughs> Give a fuck who come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Ruffer is so bad. My God. But, you, but that's facts. Bro. I'm crying laughing over this whole <laughs> <laughs> Again, bro, everybody be the bad ass to be the bad ass. Uh, man, up. nigga, you gotta always rap with this other nigga might do oh, with. But you can't calculate because you ain't never fuck niggas, so you don't know, cuz. Oh, man, that's female or male, bro. Do not underestimate nobody you finna get into some bullshit with, bro, because them folk might knock your ass out, bro. Yeah, just because you mad. That oh, don't man, mean. he got me crying, bro. Like, I'm crying laughing, bro. This nigga ass is crazy. That's facts, though, bro. That's facts, my dog. That nigga say, just because you mad, don't mean you just finna come over here and win, goddamn, though. Thank hey, you, just. Damn, it don't mean you just finna knock on my door, come in my house, and whoop <laughs> my ass because you mad. Yeah, I might have a better advantage if I'm not mad because you too emotional. You really hot. I might be on a tote child, you still mad, you going to sleep out this hoe. Fuck yeah. up. You know, came around my shit, knocking on my door, waking me up out my you sleep. You put your head down for the count, man, fucking around. Oh, boy, you funny as hell, bro. That's some real shit, though. Oh, Tino, bro, you got me crying, man. Y'all got to go check us out on YouTube, man. Y'all going to see this fool, man. This nigga's crazy. I'm going to try to tell them, nigga, hey, bro, chill out, bro. You just mad, bro. I already to try to tell them, nigga. Even my partner. When yeah. they be mad at some, you feel me, random shit or they hold anything. I'm like, bro, you feel me? It ain't even that deep. You just mad right now. Yeah, just calm down. Yeah, I be mad, like, but I still be knowing. You still be logical. You feel me? I be mad, bro, bro. I get goddamn pissed off about some shit. Yeah, boy, that shit was funny. Oh, that shit was funny. That boy said, just can be mad. You ain't finna just come around here and do no bullshit. <laughs> That facts though, God, that shit facts. Oh, uh, any, any fighting, shooting, anything. This nigga might have a gun too and shoot you back. Yeah, you don't never know. You can't underestimate no nigga for sure. That's facts. That boy Tino preaching, man. That boy Tino get on get to preaching sometime, man. Hey man, for real. Don't let your emotions guide you. Feel like you wanna fight somebody, man. Shit, hey. Totally Them emotions, the motherfucker, bro. Yeah. I be telling them, I be telling myself, like the emotions, yeah. And that shit, like, you react. Yeah. They react, but 
still, I be, I be saying like, you can't, if you doing something to somebody that you didn't have no business doing nothing to, you can't be mad or got down anything about how they react to the bullshit that you doing. Right. Because you didn't have to do this to this person. Right. So you, you got to just you man throw, up and accept your consequences. If you throw a snowball at me. And I didn't ask you to do it. We ain't had no snowball fight policy, anything. I, I just walk out the house, you throw a snowball in my face. Right. If I punch your ass, you can't be like, bro, you tripping, bro. They threw a snowball. You didn't have to do anything to me. <laughs> yeah, you didn't have to do shit. You if you didn't throw this in. snowball, I just wouldn't have came over here and punched you in your shit. Yeah, you right. You didn't have to do nothing. Because you don't even know where I was at. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how I was going to take that. You just did some bullshit. So you can't say, I don't want to say overreacting. Right. That shit just reacting. That shit might not get no equal and got down yeah. on react to. Yeah, God damn, you, what can't you, no, you can't put no gauge on their reaction. So if you say, oh, you overreacting, then you trying to tell somebody how they were supposed to react. You feel him or how? To a certain extent. At least how much they were supposed to react. Like you arguing with somebody, you cuss at them first. Right. Be like, hey, look, you ain't had to cuss at me. So I ain't cuss at you. Bitch, maybe I want to be the aggressor. <laughs> Fuck, I gotta wait on you to got that disrespect me. Fuck, you disrespect. Why I gotta wait to get disrespected? Hey, yeah. bro, I ain't got damn touch you, don't touch me. I ain't cuss at you, don't cuss at me. Fuck, that you wanna turn this shit up. You hey, turn this shit up. I wanna be, I don't wanna wait to get cussed at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. But yeah, you didn't have to do nothing to me. But I wanna be a nothing to you. Yeah. That's that, that fact, though. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Sometimes you just gotta, what they call that shit, take your lick, goddamn. Yeah, so you do something to somebody you didn't have to, and they react and however they react, they just react. Yeah, don't say they overreact, they just say they react. Because they didn't have to do, and probably wasn't going to do nothing to you. Right. That how but that shit. you struck that shit up, so I can tell you what come with. You did anything. Anything that you did, and you be like, bro, I only. Yeah. That just the only to you. I don't know how I was feeling that thing. Oh, God, this how only. They be what nigga like to say to bro. I ain't doing it. All I did was, nah, nigga. That went it today. <laughs> Feel me. You shouldn't have did that today. They about to want one water balloon thrown at me today. <laughs> so shit. Now you leaking because you threw a water balloon. Yeah. I feel what you're saying, though, bro. You can't never gauge nobody. Nobody feelings, thoughts, or emotions. You know what I'm saying? You got to just, just don't do no bullshit to them folks. You ain't got to worry about no bullshit happening to you. That fast. Tino, man, for sure, man. They, man, they my dog, man. Again, we want to appreciate each and every one of y'all for tuning in to Rights to the Podcast, where we write to say and do what we want to do. Again, shout out buzzsprout.com. If you want to get your podcast popping, go to buzzsprout.com, sign up. Shout out Light New Window Cleaning. Uh, that's Tino's business. Again, in house, homegrown, 205 427 Free estimates. In the Birmingham Hoover Invest Davy area to get your businesses and your residents looking like new. Tino, anything you want to say to the people before we get up out of here, man, for sure. You know, I'm always say, hey, do your thing. Anything that you're doing, trying, want to do, get that shit out there. In the public eye, got down. Don't keep that shit in your phone, in your closet, under the bed. That song you want to put out, put that shit out. Headline, clothes, food, anything. Put that right. shit out so folks can see it. We got to think of a name for this segment at the end of our show. We're going to call this the Motivational Minute. You did. The last minute of our, our podcast, man, is the Motivational Minute. We're going to give y'all some motivational shit to leave y'all with, man. It's Tino, what you were saying? On, I'm sorry, I mean to cut you off. No, you good. Anything that you're trying to do, do that shit. I don't give a fuck. That shit don't do that shit. Cause if you don't do that shit, then you don't know what would have happened if you did that shit. Right. Try it. Try it, man. If yeah. niggas say no, deny it, whatever, you try it. That shit will probably make you feel better if you try it. That's Anything. It. You gotta try it. I might go to the club out there and see a little chick I think I wanna talk to, but then don't talk to her. They'll be a lead, never see her no more. Like, fuck. They probably wouldn't got down. But if I wouldn't try to talk to them and got them or didn't, yeah. I, I wouldn't have felt better than like, Facts. this is awesome. Okay, I tried. She just didn't want to fuck with a nigga. Yeah, but at least you did your, your due diligence. Hey, man, that's how I feel, man. To add on to Tino's motivation a minute, man, I'm going to say keep going. 
Whatever you doing, keep going. See that shit through. See it through. Like, don't stop. Don't take no for an answer. Don't let nobody tell you you can't. Don't not believe in yourself. Don't doubt yourself. Don't take no days off. Don't not think of ideas. Don't grind. I mean, grind without a purpose. Don't do none of that shit. I ain't mean to say don't grind. Grind. But yeah, don't, don't grind, grind without a purpose. Give up on your dreams. <laughs> Hell no. Nah, he talking yeah. shit. But don't grind without a purpose, man. Have a purpose. Have a vision. Write your goals down, man. And keep going. Even when shit get rocky, when you can't see the end, you can't see the light in the tunnel, keep going. Don't let nobody knock you off your course. Don't let no hate deter you. Don't let no bullshit stop you. Keep going. Like, yeah. just keep going. Yeah. Hey, I'm a, I ain't trying to get that. But look. What's up? What you think, like, you said they take no for an answer, you can't do it. What yeah. is what, what if you, like, physically can't do it? You just talking about mentally? What if you, like, mentally? mentally? No, okay, no all, right, all right, So, yeah, physically, mentally, you may have to. Yeah. Yeah, you might have to take no for an answer physically. Yeah. All right, we'll yeah. explain that at a later date. <laughs> this nigga act crazy, man. But, again, it's been another rendition of Right City Podcast. And we ask you to please tune in with us on Instagram at Right City Podcast. All oh. one word. Oh shit, hold on. No, I was just gonna say Okay, go to ahead. The people who probably listen to episode four. Uh Fozzy E nephew. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm glad yeah. you said it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I was saying we have some scheduling conflicts. Right. So not this episode. And we're not gonna say which episode. Hopefully next episode, but we ain't gonna feel him because he got TVA. Yeah, he, he, uh, he got shit he's doing. We got shit we doing. So Yeah. Timing is everything. It's gonna happen at the right time. But yeah, I just had a goddamn. I'll fault for that. Cause they probably looked them up in there. Which I look them up looking again. Up. You feel me? nephew for sure. He coming on this one. Yeah, morning. look them up again. It's just a scheduling conflicts. Yeah, we are gonna get it right. But yeah, for sure. I just had a goddamn that. Oh yeah, day. I almost forgot about that. I'm glad you said something. Yeah, four G nephew, man. We are gonna get that to y'all. Uh, we know we told y'all about it on the last episode, like Tino said. But we are gonna get him in here when we get the scheduling shit right, man. Anything else, Tino? Nah, that was it. Okay. We just, we just making sure, because that was a good one. I'm glad you caught that, my dog, for sure. Um, but again, man, tune in to Right to the Podcast on Instagram for daily updates, daily content, all that good stuff. Um, right to the Podcast on Instagram, all one word. Tap in on YouTube, Right to the Colon the Podcast on YouTube. Keep running them views up, man. Uh, definitely tap in with our personal pages that you can find in our bio on Instagram. For sure. And again, thank you for tuning in to another rendition of Right to the Podcast. And we out this month. Gah!